it's Wednesday, which means that your rankings are up at SI.com. You can go see a written version of all of this information there if you like to follow along visually. Uh, let's go through position group by position group. We've got the quarterbacks who are higher on your rankings this week than they are typically. Brock Purdy, I have him as the QB7 this week because I love the matchup uh, wow. against the Cardinals. Justin Fields is eighth against my beloveds who are just beat to hell on defense. Geno Smith is in my top 10 against the Giants. I I've got Joe Flacco up there at 15 right now, but I don't know if he's going to play. You know, we're hearing already that, you know, Anthony Richardson feels a lot better, so maybe he's going to end up coming back. Those are the guys who have moved up based on last week's rankings. Quarterback fathers, no. Patrick Mahomes out of my top 10. Dak Prescott, out of my top 10. Matthew Stafford, Derek Carr also are among the quarterback fathers. What about running backs who are on the come up? Ken Walker, giddy up, man. I mean, that guy went into Detroit and made that defense just, oh, they were so good against running backs. And then he just said, ha, hold my beer. Uh, Ken Walker went off. Ryan Robinson's value goes up, even though Eckler looks like he's coming back this week. Chuba Hubbard now is a very startable RB2. He has been for the last two weeks. If you read start him and sit him, you wouldn't have started him. And then Kareem Hunt, because like we weren't really talking about him last week, but he got the majority of the touches in that backfield. He knows the offense and Kansas City is hurting for weapons right now. So Kareem Hunt is going to be a viable flex starter this week. Running back I'm fallers. Vaughn Achan, uh, Najee Harris, who like we all trusted last week and he yeah. took it in the shorts and you know, yeah. he's got a good matchup this week against the Cowboys and people are going to have to start him, but we don't know about Jalen Warren yet or Cordero Patterson, but like, you know, he's not reliable. Rashad White, you know, he had 10 points last week, but this was the RB5 last year. Yeah. And you know, there's reports out there that defenses are are keying more on stopping Bucky Irving than they are Rashad White. Finally, Zeke Elliott is not rosterable anymore. Like they're playing Rico Dowdle more. Cowboys backfield is crap, but Zeke's done. I, I listen, I loved him for as long as he was great in Dallas and just not the same dude. So like you could cut Zeke at this point. Wide receiver risers this week. Who are we liking more than uh, usual? Jaden Reed, baby. I love him. I love him. I love him. I would give him a fruit basket if he were here. Terry <laughs> McLaurin, is, re is his value is rising two big games in a row. Michael Pittman Jr., although we don't know what's going on with Flacco and, and only if uh, it's Flacco. Anthony Richardson. And then Brian Thomas against the, the Colts this week. Great matchup. He was great last week. LSU continues to produce and pump out these massively productive wide receivers in the NFL. Both of those juniors are, are rising. But Pittman, of course, with the caveat. Wide receiver fallers. Yeah. Tyreek, Jalen Waddell, Brandon Ayuk has done crap. Keenan Allen's done less crap. I don't know. I mean, he's, just, he's been just as bad. I, hard to trust either of those guys, but people are going to be starting Ayuk this week. I mean, against the Cardinals, that's for sure. Maybe he breaks out. Keenan Allen, I mean, that thing is been a disaster. Can we ship him back to LA, please? But no, it's hard to start him. Tight end risers. Pat Fryermuth, who should be in your lineup if you need help. And I don't even care about matchups anymore. It's all about snaps, routes run, and volume of targets. I don't care if he's got the hardest matchup in the world. If he's getting that, you got to give him a shot. Uh, Taysom Hill. Now, I don't know if he's playing because he got hurt last week, but his value is rising. Kate Otten, who I talked about playing on Thursday night. And then Tyler Conklin got a revenge game against the Vikings in London. And as you said, teams are throwing the ball in Minnesota. So Tyler Conklin is going to be a startable streamer this week. Lots and lots of ways to play fantasy football. Do you guys know about Prize Picks? It's America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active users. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do is pick more or less on two to six projections, stat projections, and you watch the winnings come rolling in. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. And now you can win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You know, and Prize Picks invented what's called the flex play. And that means you can still cash out if your lineup isn't absolutely perfect. Uh, you can double your money even if one of your picks doesn't hit. Uh, Jim Piacenti's lineups were perfect last weekend. They she won a bunch of money on prize picks. Um, she we scared shared a screenshot of that on the social media channels that we have here, Fantasy Dirt Pod. Uh, and uh, let's see, Saquon more than twenty two and a half receiving yards that cashed. Baker more than one and a half touchdowns uh godwin more than 65 and a half receiving yards how about brian thomas jr she hit on that also more than 47 and a half receiving yards anyway she's going to be here wednesday and friday and can point us in the right direction of a few of those types of player projections that you might want to get in on this week all right folks so make sure you download the prize picks app today and you could use the code fantasy dirt and get $50 instantly when you play just $5. That's code fantasy dirt on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus, guys. It's guaranteed. Prize picks. Run your game this week. Who's not? Kyle Pitts. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, Mark Andrews, obviously, the guy's not getting targeted. Uh, Hunter Henry's had one good game, Cole Komet, with Keenan Allen back. If the, all three of the Bears wide receivers are active, Cole Komet should not be on your fantasy team uh, as a starter.